I would like to replace this toggle switch, three-way toggle switch with this Decora three-way switch. And first of all, we have to turn off the power. Uh, and after turning off the power, we're going to remove the faceplate of the switch. And once we remove the faceplate, you should have a power tester, power uh, stick tester, it's called. Uh, you can just insert it on the sides before you remove the switch or you can unscrew the screws and carefully remove the switch without touching the side terminals and after removing the switch you can test the wires if they are hot or not double check uh, if this box doesn't have a power because sometimes there's there could be another circuit running through this box and it could be hot so you can just insert your power um, tester and test all those wires that are you are going to remove so after that remember the black screw in that switch and maybe even mark with tape so when you unscrew them you don't get confused which uh, wire goes where so in my case this black screw this wire is going to be my line or load so I'm just gonna tape it and then I will be removing the wires from the switch so in your case uh, your wiring could be pretty much side mounted to the bolts, but in my case, it's just backstabbed. So easiest way is just insert flathead screwdriver to those pins in the back, which will release the wire and it's easier uh, that way to remove it. And so you don't have to cut it short as well. You can cut it, of course, but I decided to just remove it and uh, I'm just gonna use this strip section. So now we know that the taped wire is our line or load and those two wires are going to be our uh, travelers. So also, uh, in my case, I don't have a ground wire, but if you do connect the ground wire first and also um, I'm going to connect after that, so basically my load or line and I'm just gonna insert it under that washer and just I'm just gonna tighten it that way. You can also make a loop and then go uh, under the bolt uh, with a loop method, but I decided to go with this way. Either way is just fine, but in my case, if you're gonna go with this method, you have to do a little bit of a pull test so the uh, connections are pretty tight and they're not loose. And also those two traveler wires, one black, one red, it doesn't matter which one goes to which terminal, but as long as you make them tight and as long as uh, everything is connected uh, properly, it should work just fine. And after tightening all those terminals, uh, after making sure that the pull test is successful, wires are not coming out easily, uh, you can just basically insert the wires into the box and make sure that the uh, wires are going in there nicely. Also make sure that you're putting the switch right way. There's a top sign at the top and the Leviton sign at the bottom. And when you screw the switch to the electrical box, make sure you don't screw one side all the way in. So just try to go little by little on each side and then level it. Don't forget to level and then you can put your faceplate on. After putting the faceplate on, you can go uh, turn the power back on and then test if you have uh, wired the switch correctly. And if you have wired everything correctly, it should just turn on and off just fine. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.